Armel 4330 Trace Analyzer. Description and mounting of the instrument. Insert the platinum electrode into the cell stand and plug the red pin into the counter position. Then insert the reference electrode into the cell stand and plug the yellow pin into the reference position. When the dropping mercury electrode is needed, insert the body of the electrode into the central hole, plug the black pin into the working position and the upper four pin connector to the position mercury valve. If a solid stationary electrode is needed, insert the pallet stirrer into the central hole and plug the upper connector to stirrer position. Screw the electrode to the holder rod and insert the assemble in a side hole. Then plug the black pin in working position. Check that the distance between the electrode tip and the pallet is at least 5 mm. If a rotating disc electrode is needed, an external controller has to be connected to the instrument. Rotate the controller to the backside and plug the left side cable to the RDE connection on the rear of the instrument. Then plug the right side cable to the rotating electrode. Insert the electrode in the central hole. And plug the black pin into the working position. Finally, plug the power supply in this position. Rotate the controller in the frontal position and select external control. This is the detail of the rear of the instrument. Connect the power supply cable in this position. Over the power connection are placed the fuses and the switch for the voltage selection. This is the bubbler for the nitrogen gas. Connect the plastic tube to the nitrogen cylinder. The bubbler has to be filled with water or any other solvent used for the analysis in the cell. This is the USB connection to the personal computer. This is the connection for an automatic burette. In the lower position, a connection for a digital output of the signals is placed. Finally, the mercury electrode holder is placed on the side of the instrument.